Alright, today we're going to be showing customers how to find an open IP on a network so they can put their DPR on the network. It starts with actually finding an IP address of the computer. So it's start and run and type in CMD. Short for command should pull up a DOS prompt for you. And then you want to type in the command ipconfig slash all. And what this will do, it will tell you all the internet settings and network settings for this particular computer. Now for this to work, the computer needs to have internet access ahead of time. So what we're looking for is the IP address, the subnet mask, and the default gateway. So what we're going to do is a command called ping, a P-I-N-G, and that sends a test command to an object to see if it does a reply. If it does a reply, that means there's an object on the network already. And we're looking for an open space. So we're going to do, pick a random number. Um, in this case, we picked a 97. Your number can be anywhere from 0 to 255. And we pinged 192.168.197, and we're getting no reply. So that means there's nothing on that particular IP address. So that's the IP address we want to configure our DVR onto. So we're going to do start settings control panel. And we're going to go to the network options. And we're going to configure our internet connection. and we're going to configure the TCP IP properties. So let's highlight and click properties. Now, nine times out of ten, most computers obtain automatically, um, which means when something gets on the network, it asks the network controller for an IP address. We're going to specify. So we're going to put in that number that got no reply. In this particular case, 192, 168, 1, and 97. The subnet mask is the same as what it was before, so whatever your IP config all said, um, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be 255.255.255.0. So if you just click on the spot, it'll autofill it. And then you want to use the gateway that was provided already. Uh, in this particular case, it's 192.168.1.1. So just put the same number in, we're going to use the same gateway. Um, the last piece that we're interested in is the DNS configuration. Those are also provided by your access point. Um, just copy them straight out. Once all that's set, you should now be on a new spot in the network. And if you want to test it, you can just you know open up Internet Explorer. If you can get to a web page or two, then you should be good. And that's how to locate an empty spot on the network using um, IP config and ping. And that once you have an empty spot, you can put your DVR in it, then you have a unique spot on the network so you can do your port forwards and you're ready for remote viewing.